Hello, my beautiful souls. Okay, so before we get started with your reading, I just want to share with you a fascinating website I was recently introduced to that helps you discover how compatible you are in relationships, how others perceive you, and also explains how to fully understand your natal chart through astrology and numerology. There is a ton of information waiting for you on this site to help you better understand love, your path, and to help you improve your life. I got my charts done and it is amazingly accurate and extremely informative. The website is called trulydivine.com and they are offering a 30% off discount for all of my subscribers. All you have to do is use code ZEN30 at checkout to receive your discount. I will provide the link and code in the description box below. So peace and love and happy learning. Now let's get started with your reading. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Zen Within Me. Okay, today's reading is going to be a love reading for Libra Sun Moon Rising. So without further ado, my darlings, let's get into it. Okay, what love messages do we have for Libra at this time? What does Libra need to know regarding their love life? What do people need to focus on regarding their love life? Please continue to protect us, watch over us, and guide us always. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, what's going on in Libra's love life at this time? What's going on in Libra's love life at this time? Okay, Seven of Cups. We got somebody is uh, really in their thoughts. Maybe even fantasizing about something here. Someone or some type of relationship. Okay, three of wands. So they could be fantasizing about um, just having that, that right person come in. That long-term relationship. Not having to... Um, like I'm getting basically they're fantasizing about the one. Okay, like you want that... that that relationship, like that one soulmate connection. And so you, you see how they're just kind of looking out, they're waiting for it, and they're fantasizing about it. They're trying to manifest, or you are trying to manifest, bringing that love into your life. Okay, and then we have five of swords here. So I feel like you've, uh, you or they, feeling more you, this is your reading. So you feel you've been defeated in previous relationships. Like you keep, you keep looking and searching. Like I feel this is more, this person is searching. You keep looking and searching for the right person because you feel that you've been defeated in the past. You haven't succeeded. So you're just kind of like waiting and looking and fantasizing about that right person coming in. All right. So let's see. What's going on for Libra here? Will Libra find the right one? What is in the near future for those Libras that are waiting for their soulmate to come in? For those Libras that are trying to manifest the one? Let's see what's going on. Are they going to manifest the one? Is that, are they going to find the one? They're going to be coming in in the near future. What's going on for Libra that's manifesting and fantasizing here? Can you give us some more details for this Libra, please? Okay, let's see. We've got a few cards here. Okay, so we have... Acts, break up separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, and abandonment. So you're trying to stop that pattern, Libra, of feeling defeated by previous relationships. So you're trying to, like currently you are single, and you're trying to, like I said, this is clarifying five of swords here, break up separation, um, abandonment, silent treatment. Like you've been defeated in the past. You're not talking to anybody right now. You're single. You're just trying to focus on stopping that pattern and really fantasizing and manifesting what you want to come towards you. Okay. Then we have self-indulgence. So focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. So right now you're focusing on yourself. You're actually taking the time here 
that now that you're single to focus on, okay, what do I need to do to change things? So this is also, like I said in the beginning, somebody's really in their thoughts. So not only are you fantasizing and trying to manifest, you're also really deep thinking about, well, how can I change things to stop this pattern of the past? Okay, because I'm tired of being defeated in all of these past relationships. What's my part in this? What do I need to change about myself that has been um, partly responsible in these past relationships? And then we have wedding rings here. Union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. So you will definitely get to this point. When, I don't know. Timing is... Uh, it's, it's always hard to pinpoint, but you will get to that point where this that this person that you're manifesting, that you're waiting to come in, they are going to come in, okay? And you will have that committed relationship with them. Not everybody believes in marriage. Some people just like, well, we live together, we have a house, we've got some, some dogs or cats, whatever, so that's enough for me. And there's nothing wrong with that. So when it says wedding rings, it doesn't have to be wedding. It could be whatever that, that strong, solid commitment is to you, Okay. So I do see this coming in for you, Libra. Again, I don't have uh, a time for it, but let's see. What other messages do we have here for Libra regarding this committed person that's going to be coming in? Or maybe what you need to work on when you're doing self-work. Let's see, you're focusing on yourself. What messages do we have? Okay, so that clarifies that. Okay. Uh, so we have rites of passage here. So this is confirming wedding rings, which is that committed person. I'm also getting with this, it could be a spiritual person. You are also on a spiritual journey. So if you're looking to find somebody that is spiritual like you with rites of passage, I feel this is going to be someone that shares your spiritual beliefs. Okay, ancestors. I feel that your ancestors are helping to guide you towards this person. Also, you can turn to your ancestors for guidance. Okay. And then we have courage here. So just continue to be strong and courageous. And I feel this is also a quality of the person that's going to be coming in. They're going to be very courageous. And this is something that you guys are going to have in common. So if you, if you are like very ambitious and you just, you have a lot of courage to try new things and maybe even be like a go-getter or a trendsetter, this person is going to also share those qualities with you. So this is actually very, very beautiful. You have a lot in common with this person. I'm also getting with ancestors, you both may be very family oriented. <clears throat> like you're going to click on a lot of levels here and this is what you've been manifesting. This is what you've been waiting for. So it makes complete sense. Okay. What other messages do we have? Thank you so much for Libra vision. Okay. So no matter what you see the bigger picture of a loving, just universe. So I feel also with vision, it's going to be love at first sight. Like, as soon as you see this person and they see you, like, it's just your eyes are going to lock, you're going to click, hearts are going to beat, and it's just, like, done. I know that's the one. I'm actually going to put that. have to write down my my titles when they come to me otherwise that's it I forget <laughs> and as you know you guys look at the thumbnails and the titles and that's what lures you in it's like YouTube 101 titles and thumbnails okay any other messages for Libra regarding this reading in their love life please ownership you acknowledge your misdeeds and accomplishments alike and learn to love them all as lessons. So right now you're learning from your past mistakes, but I also feel with this and vision, like that's it. Love at first sight and you guys are claiming one another. Like, nope, that's mine. That's it. I know that's the one. And they're going to feel the same exact way about you. It's just a lot of finishing each other's sentences, you know, being on the same page. I'm even getting like mental telepathy and 
like you guys will just look at each other and it's like boom on the same page yes I see in your eyes what you mean and that's I get it yes like if you it, it could just be as simple as an idea you know something for dinner you know just whatever it is you guys are like so in sync it's it's amazing okay so I did these cards let's see let's get some initials what initials do we have here for Libra what initials do we have here for Libra for this person that's coming in what are the initials of Libra's new person coming in this love at first sight person what are the initials <clears throat> excuse me what are the initials for Libra here yeah, just take what resonates with you. Remember, this reading is for a lot of different people, so it's not every single letter that's going to be for you, okay? All right, I think we've got plenty. All right, so we have the letter V. Now, it's also person, place, or thing. Please keep that in mind, Whatever it, 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 however it connects you with your person. Okay, now I know this is someone new coming in. You're like, we haven't met this person yet. I suggest you write the letters down and just keep them someplace. And then when you meet somebody, you can always go back to these letters and then it's like, oh, okay, so yeah, um, maybe this person's Victor or Victoria or something with a violet. Uh, maybe they're going to be standing next to a, like a, a bouquet of violets when you meet them or um, they have a friend named Violet or their color is violet or they're having a violet shirt, you know, a purse, shoes, whatever, a tie, however it resonates, okay? J. I'm getting uh, Jane, Jessica, Justine, Justin, T, C, S, B, L, M, and X. Okay, so write these letters down. S, B, L, M, X, V, J, T, C. However it relates to you. And I'm also seeing here L, M, X. Isn't that like a Roman numeral? I was awful with reading Roman numerals. So feel free to look it up. L, M, X. Isn't that like, those are numbers. It's some, some year. I don't know what it is. If you know, please feel free to... Um, Comment it down below, LMX, what number is that? Because that might be relevant here as far as timing goes. Okay, so having said that, let's also grab some technology cards. Okay, so what messages do you have for Libra regarding this reading, please? Last shuffle. Any other messages for Libra regarding this reading? Okay. Well, I'll take those two. All right. So we have your hard work is paying off. So if you're doing a lot of time within yourself, you know, that self time to work on yourself and even a lot of time manifesting what you want. Okay. A personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon in Cancer. And this was also um, your hard work is paying off new moon and Capricorn. So it could be cancer you're dealing with, a Capricorn. Um, let's see. We got a full moon phase, a new moon phase. This is also a timeless reading. So look up to see when is new moon in Capricorn and full moon in cancer because um, that might be more relevant to you as far as timing goes. You're very close to achieving your goal. So for some of you, this is going to be very soon. A time to give rather than take. New moon in Virgo. And you are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. So we have two Virgos here. A full and a new. And then we have be bold and make the first move. And if you don't, nothing will come of this situation. So you have to be bold and make the first move, Libra, or nothing will come of this situation. Okay, so let's see. We have two full moons and two new moons. So it's a crapshoot. Let's see. It could be either way. Look them up based on when you're watching this and let's see what resonates with you. Okay, so let's see. What other messages do we have for Libra 
regarding this reading, please. Let's see if we can get some other signs. We got Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer. Okay, what other messages do we have for Libra regarding this reading, please? And get a little bit more info about their person coming in. Okay, so we got a planet card, we got a house card, and we got a zodiac sign. Okay, so let's see. Now, it doesn't have to be just these signs. It could be anyone. Just keep that in mind, okay? It could just be, like I said, the timing of new moon and Capricorn and Cancer and so on and so forth. They could also have these in their chart. It could also be just that energy. Okay, so for the planet card, we have Sharon. Your healing power, empathy, and ability to teach or learn remedies. So I feel this is more like um, with that spiritual path that we covered before. Then for the house card, we have the ninth house. Broadening your horizons, either spiritually, academically, or on a long journey. So here again with the spiritual and then for the zodiac sign, we have Capricorn. The energy around you is serious, materialistic, and hardworking. It bestows shrewdness and cautious ambition. Okay, so again, it doesn't have to be that this person is a Capricorn. It could just be that energy or they have it in their chart. It could also be the time of Capricorn because we have Capricorn came out twice here. Virgo came out twice here. And then we have one for Cancer. Okay, so we have some earth energy here. We have some water energy here. Okay, so with the earth energy, it could also be that this person is like financially stable, they're grounded, and with the water energy, they could just be very loving, very emotional, maybe a little sensitive. So it's like that could be another reason why these characteristics are coming out in the signs to just give us more information about this person. Okay, so that is all I have for you, Libra. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, watching, and subscribing. Peace and love. I will see you in the next reading.